Hello, my name is Thomas Kubica and I welcome you to this video of open switch demonstration with virtual topology on top of Docker and Ansible automation. Everything is available on a public GitHub website on HP networking uh, in a scripts only open switch leafspine OPS. So all information is there, including the README file, which you can go through and run this demo yourself in your own environment. So first thing we're going to do is we will um, run the script called create.sh. This is a simple script which uh, uses Docker commands to actually instantiate our virtual network. So we run four leaves and two spines, and we're using uh, Docker networking to interconnect those switches between each other. And then we need to move those interfaces into the open switch namespace so they become actually front ports uh, and become available in a open switch configuration. So with this simple simple script, we have created a pretty pretty nice network with a switch six switches in it. You can modify the script uh, to have any number of leaves and spines. So the network uh, will shortly be ready for us and we can jump into individual switches and configure them manually or do things like that. We have also generated Ansible host file, which we will use later on with Ansible playbooks to automate things. But first, let's have a look on running Docker containers. So we see six containers running here and we can jump into one specific container, leaf one, and uh, uh, enter the open switch um, CLI interface and you can see that there is no configuration in the switch currently. So let's now use Ansible playbook to test connectivity. So test that Ansible is able to reach the switches and we are able to parse information about open switch version. So as you can see all the six switches are running and we are able to get the version. Now let's look into the VARS uh, topology.yaml file. In this file we have described desired state of our network, uh, including interfaces, their IP addresses, uh, BHP autonomous system, BHP neighbors, and things like that. So all network configuration is based on this simple YAML file. And we can use this YAML file and associated playbook to actually put the network into our desired state. So basically configure our BGP leaf spine topology. So I'm running playbook called buildfabric.yaml. And what we are doing here is we just uh, make um, the proper ports, wrote it, uh, we create the loopback interfaces, and in the next step, we start to configure the switch. We are using roles, which are currently being reviewed by the Open Switch project. Uh, so there are Ansible modules uh, for Open Switch, and there are roles which are available as well. So um, the the resulting uh, playbook is pretty simple. So now we have configured the switch, means host name and interfaces and IP addresses on the interfaces. And now we're in the step uh, of uh, building up the BGP fabric. So we are setting up BGP routers, uh, setting up neighbors and things like that. So as you can see, script uh, goes pretty quickly through the network and will ensure that the network is in a desired state so our fabric is actually working. We can jump directly into one of those containers once again and to move into the open switch CLI and let's do show run to see the configuration. So now we can see the switch is configured properly and we will also see some BGP neighbors listed here. So let's go away from the one specific switch and we can now use another Ansible playbook which I have created which is used to actually test um, the fabric. In the test fabric.yaml, only thing we do, we check that we see the BGP peering being established. So instead of going one by one to every individual switch, we have run through the network topology and we see that everything is fine. So the, all the peerings are in an established state, so our network is ready to go. It can be virtual network, as in our case, it all, of course can be physical network. Now let's jump into one specific switch and let's do some nasty thing. Let's let's do some configuration error. So this is a configuration which is the desired state configuration and now let's modify it. So I will change the remote AS number on one of those neighbors. So I will remove this one and I will set some uh, some uh, wrong autonomous system number here. That's an error. Uh, the connectivity between leaf one and the spy one will break, of course. So I can actually show it to you. So 
So, as we will shortly see, we are not in established state. Our BGP is not working properly. So let's jump out of the container again. And we can now run the testing script again. So we will say Ansible Playbook dash I hosts and test fabric. And let's see the results now. So once again, the playbook will go through the network and will try to understand if all peering is established. And as you can see, we have failed. Uh, we have failure on spine one uh, and the peering to dot uh, 10 dot zero one dot zero dot one is not in an established state. It's in an idle state. So it is not working. We have broken our network configuration. Because of the adapt potency capabilities uh, of Ansible, we can simply rerun the script to build the fabric and it will put the network back into our desired state. So let's just run through this playbook again and what the playbook will do, it will fix what needs to be fixed. So on the end of this playbook, we should be back into, into the desired state of our network, which worked for us. So the playbook now goes through the configurations and if there is something that needs to be changed, it, it change, changes the configuration. So let's wait a while. So we configure the switches. You can see OK here, which means that IP addresses are OK. So uh, the playbook didn't have to do some changes here. Let's configure BGP now. Okay, here we go. And now our network state is back into the desired state. So our configuration should be correct. So what we can do, we can run the playbook to test it again. We don't have to go through the individual switches. Uh, we just run through the test fabric.yaml to test uh, peering through the network and we're fine. So it means that we have actually repaired the network state and it is working well now. Let's suppose we want to do some configuration change here. So we don't do it in a, in a switches individually. We will open the topology.yaml file and do the change here. So I'm going to change IP address of one of those interfaces and appearing information on leaf one. And I will do the same on spine two. So I will change IP address on a layer three interface and I will change appearing information here. I will save this configuration and now I will simply run the build fabric script again. Now, because the topology file has changed, we have a new desired state. So the script will go through the configuration and ensure that our network is in a desired state. So it will basically change what needs to be changed based on the changes we made into the topology.yaml file. So let's just wait a little so the script can run through all the necessary steps. Now we're configuring the switch interfaces. You can see that spine one was okay, no change needed. But we have changed spine two and leaf one because there has been changes in a, in a desired state versus the actual state of the network. So now we just configure the BGP again. And now the network should be in the new desired state, including our configuration change. So let's just run once again, test fabric script or playbook to see the BGP peering is established and that IP address of the peer has actually changed. So let's wait a little. Here we have an output. Everything is okay. But as you can see, the, we are using different peer IP addresses here. So which means that we're running network in the new desired state configuration. And of course, uh, everything is established. So the network is up and running. So now we can destroy the network because this is just for testing purposes. With this script, we have destroyed the network completely. So that's how you can use uh, Docker and uh, Ansible to actually automate things. You can find all the files here listed on the GitHub. And in the next video, I will show you how to build some process around that using the tools like version control and Jenkins automation. So that's introduction to OpenSwitch, running on Docker and Ansible automation.